and they're off in the Lafayette Stakes. There goes Surfer Dude for the lead. Old Homestead right there to the inside. Surfer Dude, Old Homestead come to the front together in the opening strides. My Prankster is away third. Barossa, one lane off the rail, is in fourth. Now two lanes off the rail. And is joined there by American Experiment in fifth. Osborne up the inside from sixth. Ignitus back toward the outside is seventh. Unified Report is eighth in between horses. All in sync down toward the inside ninth. Magnolia Midnight is in tenth. Tejano Twist is eleventh. Money Supply last of the twelve. Opening quarter 22.55 seconds old homestead the leader old homestead leads at three quarters of a length around the far turn surfer dude second a length and then barossa third by a neck on the outside of osborne who's in fourth my prankster is in fifth and is still six lengths off the lead around the far turn ignitus then tahano twist who goes wide still eight from the front top of the stretch old homestead is the leader old homestead by two lengths off the far turn chased by surfer dude in second osborne third barossa in fourth my prankster and ignite is still far back along with Tejano Twist. Final furlong Old Homestead has the lead by three. Surfer Dude is in second by four. Osborne is next. 16th pull. Old Homestead. Tommy Pompel aboard. Old Homestead to capture the Lafayette Stakes. Surfer Dude second. Osborne third. My prankster across the line and fourth. Official winner of Keeneland's seventh race, 74th running of the Lafayette Stakes. Number three, Old Homestead, owned by Marablue Farm, LLC of Doug Henderson, owned also by Pegasus Stud, LLC of Melinda Smith, trained by Brett Brinkman, the jockey, Tommy Pompel. Old Homestead, a three-year-old son of Overanalyze, out of Pearl de Vere, by Song and a Prayer, bred in Florida by Marablue Farm and Pegasus Stud. Seven furlongs over the main track listed muddy. One minute, 22.8. Nine eight seconds. Now the trophy presentation for the Lafayette Stakes Race Seven. Ross Barnett, President, Central Bank Insurance Services, makes the presentation of the trophy to the connections of Old Homestead. Old Homestead taking the 74th running of the Lafayette Stakes. Tommy Pompel, the passenger, Brett Brinkman, the winning conditioner, and, and Tommy. How easy was he cruising out on the front end going seven furlongs today? Uh, he, he took it very well. That's what, uh, when I rode in the other two times, we just put him out there on the front end. He just, he seems like he does it so easy. And then when you kind of ask him a little bit, he was gone. Where would this rank amongst your career victories? On top. <laughs> Nothing better? No, nope, not really. How did it feel coming back into the winner's circle here at Keeneland on a stakes horse? Oh, it felt great. Tommy, well done. All right, thank you. Brett, you told us before the race that you wouldn't be here if you didn't think he was going to get the seven furlongs. How did you have so much confidence coming in from Delta that he could handle seven eights here at Keeneland? Well, we, you know, watched him all winter and stuff, and then I worked him three quarters at Evangeline before we shipped up, and um, he gave me every indication he could get the distance. What does a native of Lafayette do to celebrate winning the Lafayette Stakes? Mm, I don't know. I probably have a one drink and a good meal. There's plenty here. Well done, Brett. Thank you. Old Homestead, too fast for him in the Lafayette. 